I belong to a broken family. I was emotionally down and depressed most of the time. I have been disobedient to my dad that multiplies to different sins. I indulged to different vices and got pregnant at a very early age. The worst effect of all this is that I am suffering from epilepsy. Most of the time I have seizures. It usually leads to depression or anxiety. I would ask the Lord, why me? Why not someone else? <laughs> but God is so loving because during my darkest moment, He made a way for me to know Him through a youth camp in 1998. Although my father was not a Christian, He forced us to attend a Christian fellowship. He probably thought this would help me and my sibling to change our rebellious ways. On the first day of the youth camp, I was silently angry and unresponsive. I was not listening to the pastor's preaching and ignored everyone around me. But since the Christian youth who were attending the camp were so nice to me, I became friends with them. During the camp, they invited me to join a baptism. So I joined, thinking that I will have fun during swimming time. After the camp, I was able to build friendship with some of them. So they started to connect and invited me to join the church gatherings. God used those circumstances in my life and prepared me before I got married with my husband who is a Christian. God blessed me with a mother-in-law who was used by the Lord to nurture and introduce Christ in my life. Since then, my life became meaningful. Change is not an overnight experience after I accepted Christ. This requires continuous learning from His Word and from people whom you believe are spiritually mature and willing to journey with you. God provided people who will walk with me in a care group. God led my husband and I to the right place with the right people in this church. He gave me a family whom I can cast my burdens with. It's true that I got my water baptism just for fun when I was a teenager, but this time I have decided to follow Jesus through water baptism. A public declaration of my trust and reliance to the one true God who has saved me from my sins, my sickness, and my shame.